Hi, my name is Neil Blevins, and this is a tutorial called Painting Grime. It's all about erasing. So in this tutorial, I'm going to try to convince you that it's less about the paint strokes that you put down, and it's more about the paint strokes that you take away to get uh, a good uh, dirt effect. Although to note, this also works really well for um, rough painting, speed paintings, and that kind of thing. But in this example, I'm going to show it with dirt. So let's say you have this um, surface here, a painted surface with some cut lines, and you want to add some dirt along here. So, of course, one way to add dirt is to manually paint each and every little tiny speck, which, you know, get a really, 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 really small brush and go in and start placing all the little bits of, of dirt. But that's going to take a really long time to do. So what you really want to do is you want some sort of texture brush to handle that. So. Let's say we have ourselves a uh, an appropriate texture brush, like here. The problem with this is that when you paint, it tends to be too even. Um, let me show you on a different canvas to show you what I mean. So even though the shape of this brush is kind of random and uh, it's being randomly rotated to give it uh, some variation in the brush, you end up with something that just looks too even all over the place. And if you make your brush smaller, it's even worse. You can see there that that just is, you know, not going to look like real dirt. So the best technique in this case that I found is you paint in with a big brush and then you paint out or erase with a smaller brush. So I'm painting on a separate layer here and um, let's paint in a bunch of dirt. Okay, there we go. And now what we want to do is we want to erase that dirt. And uh, this is exactly the same brush except now it is a, a smaller brush. Smaller version of the same thing. So now I can go in and I can leave some areas here where there's almost no dirt at all and some areas like let's say right there where there's a, a really big blotch of dirt. And that gives me control over dirt placement and variety but at the same time gives me the fast start of the texture brush so I don't have to manually paint all of this dirt. So now I have some nice dirt which is coming out here and the dirt that's totally gone there. So it's more about erasing the dirt than it is actually putting the dirt down in the first place. You can put down the dirt with a large brush in a big spot and then you can uh, control exactly where the dirt goes with erasing. Um, so another example of this is let's say you wanted to put a couple of drips uh, down here. And you can do, oh sorry let me get the uh, erase, uh, get off the eraser and get onto the, the paintbrush. So let's say that I want to stick some dirt coming down here. Now, even with pressure sensitivity on and everything else, you're still going to get sort of a, a you're not going to get a point down here. You're going to get something that's far, uh, far flatter. And so what some people do, for example, is they will use the smudge tool and they'll smudge the end to here to get a nice pointy tip which can work, but the problem is is that means that that last sort of tip area there is going to be smudgy, it's going to be kind of blurry, it's not going to have all the nice texture that you laid down with your original brush. So again, paint in the, the drip uh, with uh, one brush, then paint it out with a smaller version of the same brush. Now you can see that uh, the tips here look far more uh, pointy, which is a much closer to real um, dripping dirt, but at the same time it also has some irregularity to it, which is nice. Now the one disadvantage of this is it means you're kind of doing a two-step process. You're laying down dirt and then you're taking it away, and then you're laying it down and you're, and you're taking it away. And that does add a little bit more time to things, but uh, overall I think it gives a much more naturalistic effect and is certainly a lot faster than going in and manually painting the dirt absolutely everywhere, uh, you know, dot by dot. So here's a more finished version that I did um, where you can see this area right here is the uh, big texture brush and then painted out with the smaller texture brush and then I went in with a, a very small brush and just added a few little denser bits of dirts here and there just to add a little bit more variety. Uh, and then painted some new uh, drips here and there. So again, paint in with a big texture brush, paint out with a smaller texture brush, and then maybe use a small brush, just to add a few little bits here and there to make sure that you don't have evenness going all over the place. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, please visit my website at neilblevins.com for more tutorials. And if you want to be notified next time I post a new video tutorial, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.